I want to show you how I make my uh, DIY uh, Christmas trees for outside. Um, I usually make two or three of them and it's very simple to do and it's probably stuff you have around the house anyway. So what you're going to need what you're going to need is uh, one of these um, these things that you um, use in the garden to um, stand up your uh, tomatoes or your peppers or whatever you use them for. I think they're called tomato tomato wires or something. Anyway, they're for your garden and you just put them over your tomato and yeah, one of those or however many you're going to make. Then you're going to need um, just uh, this garland. Um, what I do is um, I use the stuff that I oh, I'm here. the stuff that I use one year inside and if it gets thin or whatever then I use it for outside and yeah so you need this and uh, you can buy those uh, fake or not fake these are real you can buy those nuts in different colors or you can put flowers on it or um, acorns like this um, or pine cones I mean or anything you want to add to your tree so I will begin to show you how to do this and uh, yeah we can get some Christmas trees up okay the first thing you're gonna need to do with your wire is to um, tape or hot glue the, the tips together and I just like doing it with tape it's so much easier and yeah at this point it doesn't look very pretty but it will be beautiful once it's all done so once you have that done you can either start, start with your garland at the top or at the bottom it's, it's whatever you decide I think I always start, I believe I start at the bottom, so I'll just adjust the camera here to accommodate that. So I'm going to start wrapping this garland around the bottom here. And you can use these uh, twigs on the branches to, to wrap, like to, um, secure your garland onto the wire here and what I mean is just you have this this wire and you just take one of these branches and you just wrap it around and keep going and that's really all you need to secure it with because um, I've had them up for a couple of years and that's all I ever do um, I took one apart because one was actually falling apart this time. So I kind of just redid one and I figured I would show you guys how to do it because for years I looked for one. Um, I wanted to buy one like um, different stores had them and they were like always so expensive and I'm like, oh, I'm not spending that much into you know, decor for outside. So finally I saw on Pinterest, I saw somebody doing this and I'm like, what a fantastic idea. Like, what an awesome idea. And then there I go dropping stuff. And this one, I think this was a garland that had some of these uh, pine cones on it, but you can see it's very nice. You just keep Adding on till you get to the top. I'll grab another one here. Sorry. And this one has some of the the red nuts on it, so I'll just keep going with that. And this is uh, something that does not take very long. Billy, he did it with me last year, so this year he ran for the hills and he's like I am not helping with that 
He's very selective on what he wants to help me with, the little guy. <laughs> So I'll just keep wrapping, and you can make it as full as you want, you can space it out more. I think I usually do too, cause, but now I've managed to, uh, that I need three, so yeah, I'll grab another one here. Yeah, these are ones that are kind of, you can see, they're too thin for doing something inside. So I just use them, use it for outside instead of throwing them away. I hate throwing stuff away. You'll, you'll, if you watch my videos, you'll soon realize the pattern. <laughs> she does not like throwing things away. I'm not a hoarder, but, you know, I don't. I don't like throwing things away. <laughs> I get that from my mom. She likes to keep everything too. So we're getting near the tip here. So I'll just keep wrapping. And instead of cutting it off, I just keep wrapping and make it nice and full. You can push it down like this. Push it down so it makes it nice and full. And then you can use the whole garland. That's a bit of a struggle sometimes, but there you go. And then just twirl some of these twigs around, and there's your tree. So I'll move further back so you can see the full tree. There you go. And then uh, you can either add your, uh, add things like these uh, flowers or some more acorns or you can add um, this, whatever this stuff is called, you can add um, what I'm going to do is just add lights. I'm just going to add lights to it and um, I will set it up outside and then I will show you what it looks like outside. Okay, these are my trees outside. I need to put a star on that one. But uh, I like the way it looks. Maybe some more flowers, we'll see. And then over here, I have my other two. There's the star on one of them. And these stars are just made of uh, two Dollar Tree stars glued together. You can see the glue, I didn't do a very good job. But yeah, just. Two of the stars glued together and there's the one tree and then I have them sitting on a bench there's two of them that's the way I usually do it every year and then around the gazebo I'll be doing some more garland and I'll be updating as we go along so there's the other one right here. 